More and more people are looking at using the AR-15 for home defense. I mean, traditionally it was always, you know, use a shotgun, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, whatever. Um, but the AR-15 is becoming a lot more popular. It's a lot easier for smaller people to shoot. You know, the recoil on the shotgun can be tremendous. So the AR-15 can be good, but what ammo do you use in it? And you know, on one side, people will say, what are you talking about? It's a military style rifle, use military ammo. The military kills people. And I can see that point, but I'm not really sure that's the best way to look at it. Because first of all, in the self-defense community, we're not really trying to kill people. We're not interested in killing. We're interested in stopping someone from invading our home or attacking us. Second of all, the military has restrictions on their ammo. I mean, they have uh, the Hague conventions say that you can't have expanding ammo in home defense in personal defense. We don't have a restriction against expanding bullets, so we have that option. What should we use? Traditional rifle ammo or military ammo? It doesn't expand, but it will fragment. When the bullet hits, it will splinter into a million little fragments, if it performs properly. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just passes straight through the person it was aimed at and, and doesn't really cause a lot of damage at all. On the other hand, you have uh, hollow point expanding rounds that when they hit the flesh, they expand to a larger size. And the goal here is you want to disrupt as much tissue as possible, have it penetrate as deep as possible. And even with a rifle round, it might hit and do a lot of damage superficially, but if it doesn't penetrate deep enough to disrupt the vital organs, it might not force a stop. Well, here's where PDX-1 comes into play. Because if you read the back of the box, this is a wonder bullet. This does everything because it says on it that it is split core technology. And it has a, uh, a quick opening, quick shock section. And then the back of the bullet is actually welded to the jacket. And it's supposed to be a deep penetrating portion. Well, heck, that sounds great if it does what it says. So I've got some professional ballistic gelatin, I've got some PDX-1 rounds, and an AR-15. We're going to head to the range and we're going to see just exactly how this does perform. first thing to notice is this massive explosive cavity. PDX-1 being a split core bullet, it has the front portion fragments. And so as this temporary stretch cavity was happening, simultaneously the bullet head exploded in here, fragmented and sent shrapnel all throughout that stretch cavity. And then the second part of the bullet, the base, continued on. We see a chunk of it ended up here at about mm, a little over 10 inches. And then we have the final piece of the base at almost 13 inches, about 12 and three quarters. So you got FBI specification penetration, but you also got an explosive wound cavity. I'm going to get in here and dissect this so you can see this a little better. I'm going to go right down the center of this wound cavity. And you can see what kind of message PDX-1 sent. This just opens up into this huge cavity that is about three and a half inches wide at its absolute maximum. And all throughout this, you can see it, there are little, little chunks, little fragments. Now those aren't really gonna do a lot of damage, but they'll do more damage than if they weren't there. You know, it's not just relying on a stretch cavity, it's actually putting shrapnel that's basically what it is it's shrapnel you can see there's i open up one of these petals there's a i don't know if you can see that on the camera but right here there's a chunk of that shrapnel and it's all throughout i'm going to try to recover that and weigh it but it's tiny 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 little shrapnel bits and then in the rest of the block here you can see that that wound cavity continues on now in general Doing a tremendous amount of damage like this at a shallow you know, five or six inch penetration depth, it's not really necessarily going to hit the vital organs, but this will cause so much trauma 
to the body that it's still going to be a very effective wounding mechanism. That'll, that'll stop somebody right there. And then on top of that, you have the main projectile continuing on definitely deep enough to affect the vital structures of the body. So overall, I would say PDX-1 is a, it's a really impressive, effective, and nasty round. This is pretty much everything I could find from the PDX-1. Obviously, most of it is just little bits of shrapnel that are totally tiny little pieces that went in and, and ripped apart the flesh in that initial stretch cavity, the temporary stretch cavity that became probably a larger permanent cavity because these little pieces were ripping it apart. And then we had a couple of pieces of jacket that penetrated pretty deeply. And then we have this here base, which if it went through face on, that'd be a pretty big hollow point bullet. I believe I found it sideways, so not quite as huge, but still. That's all I could find. If this had to be used on an attacker, I don't know how the trauma surgeon would be able to find all these bits. It was not easy digging these things out of just transparent gel. So I think this would be an extremely damaging round for any person unfortunate enough to be hit by it. The recovered portions of the PDX-1 bullet on the scale weigh 44.6 grains out of the original 60. So somewhere along the way, yeah, we lost about 15 grains of weight. The big chunk by itself weighs 34.6 grains, and that's about the size of a, a full-fledged 22 lr So there, that's a complete bullet by itself on top of the additional 25 grains of lead that got distributed and fragmented throughout. Well, this is the kind of review I wish I got to do all the time. Everything did exactly what it was supposed to do. PDX-1 performed perfectly. It hit, it caused a massive expansion cavity. It shrapnel fragmented all inside there. It was like a, you know, it's not exactly like a, a hand grenade going off inside somebody's body, like a rocket propelled grenade. I mean, when you fire that bullet, you're sending this exploding round in there and it explodes inside. It doesn't really explode because there's no, there's no explosive in it. But the effect was that it hit the body, it shredded the insides, it, it fragmented everywhere. And then it had a base that expanded. When I measured it, it was at its maximum point, it was as big as a 45 caliber round, and that base penetrated 13 inches. Now that by itself would be considered an effective stopper, but on top of the incredible damage that the stretch cavity and the fragmentation did, I gotta say, two, if I had three thumbs, I'd give three thumbs up to PDX-1 here. It did exactly what it said it was gonna do, and it did it very well. So uh, I think if you're looking at an AR-15 for home defense, this should definitely be on your shopping list as one to consider because it did it did perform very well thanks for watching i'll have more tests of 223 and 556 ammo for home defense and also i'm still continuing on with the handgun rounds so hit subscribe and you'll be notified when new videos are posted